the Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan Big Cat Cats. And the source, Stu Finer. Week 8, welcome to Barstool Sports Advisors. Guess what, guys? This Sunday, it is the Sports Equinox, and Barstool Sports Advisors is brought to you by FanDuel. And, like I said, the Equinox, FanDuel's going to have everything going on. We are brought to you by FanDuel, and today, October 27th, is the Sports Equinox. All four major sports will be in action all on the same day, and FanDuel is celebrating with the first ever Sports Equinox free play contest. Pick the winners of each of today's 26 games. If you get 20 of them right, you'll split a share of more than $270,000. Dave and I added cash to the prize pool to make it even better and even that much more. This contest is 100% free to play and no deposit required. Head to fanduel.com stool to learn more and make your picks now. Also, the Mortal Lock uh, promo is coming up, so make sure you tune into that at the end of this show. Boys, girls, Dave, Stu, Hannah, Tommy, Welcome to the Sports Equinox. Hell of a, hell of a read, Dan. I mean, that, 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 that was like... Uh, Thanks, guys. That was like the dictionary, back to front, a lot of words. It goes too fast. The scroll goes too fast, so I have to start... My brain starts going faster Word than my vomit. mouth. Yeah. Blech. But guess what? The Sports Equinox, there's 26 games today in all the sports. If you win 20 of them, you get a split of the share of FanDuel. Love to see the uh, FanDuel crack staff that was sitting around with that one. That was something. That's pretty good. Okay, listen. Week 8... I love the board, but not yet, because I have some business I have to take care of. Last week, on this very show, I ripped up a piece of paper with Stu's blessed dog, Pugsley, who passed away in 1998. Was that how long ago it was? How long ago? Ten years ago. Okay, ten, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so, no, listen, be nice 99. to Pugsley, be nice to Pugsley, be nice to Pugsley, be nice to Pugsley. So, since that moment, I have had a string of bad luck. I had an absolute terrible Sunday. I had a terrible Saturday. My own dog got sick. She's fine right now. So I am going to take this Ouija board. Dave, I'm going to need your finger. I'm going to apologize to Pugsley right now. Pugsley, up there in heaven, I am sorry. I apologize. Please accept my apology so that I can win my games Hannah was asking before, do I actually care about this dog? No, I care about my winners. Yeah, well, that's the only thing that matters. And here's a suggestion. Somebody bought Stella, my dog, who recently passed away a star. It was beautiful. Maybe buy Pugsley's star. Wow. Okay, so you here we go. Pugsley, do you accept my apology what and will you give me winners on Sunday? What am I doing? you got to put your finger on it and then don't touch it. No, you just like that. And then, and then just let it go. Oh, we go with the vibe. Oh, you go you with the vibe. close your eyes and let it, you just vibe. let it vibrate through your soul. Oh! Ended up on yes. Look at that. And guess what? I'm going to do something special for Pugsley. Yeah! I'm going to make money off of this dog's death. Yeah! So, go to Get our sports cash. store right now. Get and you cash. can buy a Rip Pugsley shirt. 100% of the proceeds go to Dave Portnoy's wallet. Dead dog cash. Check it out. Pretty nice well, shirt, Well, they right? don't go to my wallet, oh, Danny boy. They go to my true. bookie. I've been down. <laughs> that's true. I know. Okay. I haven't been even in two years. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. I don't even know what gambling is. I just gamble, and it's like it's just this moving number that's mythical. I got. I I had this week. Such that's a, a Welker special, by the way. The fumes on that yes. almost knocked me out. I don't know what he does. It's like he puts chloroform on there. I had the week where I had to uh, ask for the good old fashioned rollover. Hey, can I roll some of this over? Yeah. <laughs> Never a good conversation to have. That's just they have your nuts in a vice yeah. when you do yeah. that. Yeah, oh, they love oh, it. Oh, yeah, you can roll it over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that, means you, that means I have you no matter what for, for basically the rest of history. Just walk around with their hand on your nuts. <laughs> okay, let's do some week eight picks. I love the board now, especially because I got Pugsley to say, accept my apology. Let's start with Eagles at Bills. This, boys, is a line-in-the-sand game. Are the Eagles going to rally the troops, win this game, save their season, 
or is it going to be a clown show? Everyone hates each other. The Eagles are a dumpster fire. Dave, you are actually an honorary member of Eagles Nation of Philadelphia. I'll start with you. The Eagles are two and a half point underdogs and the over-under is 42 and a half. Tough, tough, tough game, Danny boy. And let mm. me tell you why. Because the Bills are just a team, what are they, five and one now? They are five and one for the first time since 2008. If we're going to still look at that Ouija board, is that what they call it? Ouija, Ouija. board? Ouija. 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 I thought that talked to... Uh, Always silent. Ouija. Huxley is dead. Ouija. All is silent. Yes. If, we're, if I close my eyes, I cannot picture the Bills at 6-1. and one. I just can't do it. The Eagles, on the other hand, stink. They absolutely stink. They got rid of Nick Foles. The whole franchise went south. I begged Philadelphia, those scumbags. I said, keep them. The guys won your only Super Bowl. Why are you getting rid of them? Why are you running them out of town for that ginger Jesus? Don't do it. So this game, I don't know what to think. The pick should be the Bills. But oh. This is where I out I outthink myself. This is why I have the best record on the show. Mm. It's why I'm 36 and 22. Because I close my eyes, I visualize, I think about the man in the suit, and I'm telling you, the Buffalo Bills are not a six and one football team. That's it. I'm taking the Eagles. It's the wrong pick. That's why it's the right pick. I keep saying it. Eagles. Mm. Are you worried at all, Dave, that uh, under Sean McDermott, the Bills are 11 and two against the spread win favorites? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. I didn't know that stat. What it morphed to into Tommy? Is it Halloween right. weekend this week? I just next gave week? it to you. Freaky Friday. I gave you that stat, and it was like a good stat. People are going to be going out on Halloween. This Tommy, you, 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 you have a stat? Yeah, you took my stat. Just kidding. I always come prepared. Wentz is just 5-10 and 10 against the spread in his career when on the road facing a winning team. Mm. This is one of those games where I like the Bills a lot, but I, I'm not going to take them. Dave, the stats are just mounting up against you. It's like this. You're just getting Buffalo buried Bills are in not stats. a 6 one football team. They're You're just not. You're getting buried in stats. Hannah, what's the weather going to be like in Buffalo on Sunday? It's going to be a sad day on Sunday. It's going to be 57 and a lot of rain. Oh, Dave. Sorry, That's sorry. more stats against you because the Bills are a running team, a defensive team. Can I ask team. both of you they guys real play. quick? Just close yeah. your eyes. Mm -hmm. Close them. Can you picture the Bills as 6-1? Yes, it's going to happen. No. I love the Bills. Go ahead, Steve. No F way. Who? No F way. Whoa. Let's talk right now. This is your typical sucker's bet because there's no two ways about it. There's no way on paper, and with just such a small prohibitive number, you're laying less than a field goal with the Bills, who have shown the propensity at home, great defense, put pressure on the quarterback, sack the quarterback, stop your run, and score. You put it all together, lay the number, all day, twice on Sunday. Wrong, wrong, wrong. El Prez has it right, convoluted, a little, whoa, 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 a little, got a little dizzy, got a little seasick trying to, to follow him, but he's right. Right is right. You take the Eagles, make the stand, Wentz wins by two touchdowns, going away, it's all Eagles, it's scumbag Eagles, I love the Eagles, rolling. I would be remiss not to mention a hungry dog runs faster. That is true. I want, as a little show note for the future, I want there to be a onset one of those big lollipops that, you know, the oversized like, ones. Like uh, the one, yeah. the Pippi Lip Stockings. Yeah, 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 Pippi Lip Stockings, exactly. Oh, I love them. And a little dunce hat, because guess what? I'm the sucker. I'm taking the sucker's side. I don't care. I'll lick the whole sucker dry. Can I say something? I want there's a memo to somebody in this room. I don't know who's going to do it. I need my pick sent to me, the man in the suit, because I have a story. How I bet against myself because Liam, who's a producer, I like you, Liam. We don't talk that much. Liam! But before Seahawks, Ravens, I said, what do I have in Seahawks, mm. Ravens? You said I had the Seahawks. Fine, I bet them. You didn't mention I also had the under. I bet the over. That makes uh. me want to. Kill myself. So somebody <laughs> in this room, send me all my picks. Send That's them. all I ask. Send them. You, somebody, somebody. Someone. I'll do it. Someone, nope. Not I'll do it. Not Stu. Okay, I mean, so I don't want send to all the picks. I'm coming trick or treating to you to your apartment. You don't know city. where I live. I know I do. I spent money. Shit. I followed. You definitely know. I, I did a TMZ. I hate to say it. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Knows. I'm your number one fan. You I'm, I'm trick or treating in Nantucket knows. House and your apartment. I'm just saying. All right. Kit Kats are my favorite. Listen. Kit me, Kats. me too, Stu. Listen. I, listen. Yeah! Kit Kat! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Kit Kat. Whoa! It's the crunch. The crunch. I the love it so much I eat them with the paper on. Ooh. Oh. So I make like a Kit Kat crepe. That's what, what I used to do. I used that to makes take... no sense. No, no it does not, because no. listen. You don't, you, super, don't, you don't eat them with the paper. I do! Get one right now and I'll eat no, them with the paper. Don't. Get me the sucker. Get Dave the picks. Get, get Stu a Kit Kat with some paper on it. It's Cardinals like and Saints is our next game. Saints are minus nine and a half. Over under is 40 and a half. 
Guys, who has a big old dick? The schlong master, Teddy Bridgewater. This is the only thing keeping me afloat. It Easy really Saints, is. schlong. What's he, four, five, and oh since we've done this? It's basically Noah's Ark. We have a millennial type of flood, and we're just all standing on Teddy Bridgewater's big old dick, saving ourselves. From Save the flood me. I had Saints. I had Saints money line. Without that, I get killed because that Seahawks debacle that my friend Liam really mm. fucked me with. <laughs> Liam! Got the over. Liam, your dead is Pugsley. Your dead is my mother, my brother. Okay. Okay. You're dead, Liam. You're dead. Never want to be in the show like this, Leo. Just, just, That's okay. it, who do I have? Seahawks, Ravens. Oh, you got the Seahawks and you got the under. Under, yeah. That's, you say that. Okay. But this one. It's a half truth. Guys. I can't cool. your thousands. You, we're, 20,000, no big deal. Oh my God. No big deal. We're oh staying on the schlong? Are we staying on the schlong? I'm, yeah. I'm staying on the schlong. No way. Oh. No way. Not this lifetime. Listen, take that That's big good. penis. That's good. That's good for stick us. it up yeah. the pool ball. Arizona beat you outright. They lay an outright victory, plus nine and a half. I'm calling for an underdog outright. I'm gonna sprinkle it, sprinkle it, stupid, stupid, stupid. But like for money, that Arizona well, for 10,000 plus the points. I just wanna give Stu credit because he self-censored censored himself put with the, the F word, yeah. and then he yeah. said, put 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 uh, the penis up the poop hole. Right, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm like Kids PG show, let's, let's keep it to uh, no, PG-13 Stu. Kids watch this show, Stu. It's a kids show. Uh, Tommy, give us a stat, even though we know that the schlong is going to ride us to victory. Yeah, this is an anti-schlong stat, but it doesn't really yeah, include Tommy. Teddy Bridgewater. Over the past couple seasons, the Saints are just 1-5 against the spread Whoa. when at home as a more than yeah, touchdown yeah. favorite. But yeah, that stat might not matter as much. Tommy, Teddy Bridgewater schlong. Here's the thing, Tommy. Dave. Here's the thing, Dave. Idiots like Stu and the rest of the world are all enamored by Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury and winning three in a row. Oh, very impressive. Who did they beat, Dave? I know they beat the Giants, who stink. They beat the Giants, they beat the Falcons, they, they beat stink. the Bengals. They, they stink. Oh. You can only beat who they put in front of you. That's the last crazy. time they played a real team, they lost by 17, Stu. Yeah, but that was early in, in uh, his uh, I don't care about this. He has a huge dick, yeah, and we've been riding. Yeah, you almost double this, digits. This, this you almost like double digits. This isn't, a, this isn't like a gambling. This is just you do what's hot. You also keep doing it because we've already won enough money that if even if it loses, you're up ahead. You you absolutely have to ride this out till LeShong is done. All right, is last one. Be that it's like 100%? Yes. How do we know this? Well, what? We've seen pictures. We've okay. seen pictures of his schlong. Okay, last like pick. If you've seen mine, you've seen this. Last uh, game before we take a break. Panthers at Niners. Niners minus five and a half. Over under is 42. <laughs> Stu, I'll start with you. Quickly give me the pick in this game. Second best team in the NFL. Second best team in Who's the NFL. Who's number one? 49. No, no, no. Oh, Patriots are still one. Okay. 49ers have moved to, to two. Just over Vikings total. are a rock solid three and Saints fourth. <laughs> That's it. That's the only four teams in the NFL. It's the only four teams in the NFL. Okay. Um, love the 49ers in this game. They're going to just dance all over the Panthers' graves. This is a route burial blowout. How about that 20,000 on the Niners? You're in luck! Burial! Let's go to San Fran! Let's get crab claws! Let's get dungeness claws! We're ready to roll. Crab claws in San Fran. Hannah, what's the weather going to be like in San Francisco? It's actually in San Jose or Santa Anita. I don't know where the fuck it's like San Anita, I'll be there in two weeks. I didn't hear that F-bomb. F-bomb. No matter where it is, it's going to be 79 and completely sunny. Okay, great. Tommy, quick stat. Riverboat Ron gets his offenses hot out of the gate following a bye week. The over is 6-0 and in the Panthers' past six games following a bye week. Why are you holding the phone like that? I don't know. He's holding it like uh, Teddy Bridgewater's. Schlong. You're a spaz. He's You're a spaz. I Holy love that long. stat because I'm going against that stat, Dave. All right, well, I didn't know what I was doing coming in this game uh, with the pick. I like the Niners on paper. I listen to Stu. I listen to everything that Stu said. It went against everything Stu believes in, which is why he's a moron, continues to lose. This is a bet. The Panthers should make you uncomfortable, Stu. Mm -hmm. Why? The, 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 the Niners are one of the best teams in the Panthers. No, 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 Public's buying the no, books. no, I'll take the Panthers. Thank yep. you, Stu. Yep. Winner. Give me the Panthers. Because I'm very uncomfortable with that. Very uncomfortable with both these things. But you're I'm taking the to be Panthers and the under. I'm taking the under as well. Put me down for the under. I don't think there's going to be. 41 and a half? Yeah, I think both teams just like to run. They okay. both like to run. It's going to be one of those games. Like maybe an Ar Army Navy game. Just run it. One of the best games I've ever been to. God bless America. Yes. Okay. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we have more picks and our mortal locks. Back right after this, Barstool Sports Advice. Do you like money? Do you like winning? 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Barstool Bets. It's where the winners and the money and the entertainment come. Subscribe now, Barstool Bets. It's an honor, Barstool Sports. Put my dead dog Pugsley in infamy. I went to the therapist, I cried, I shared gut level with Dan, I accepted his apology. Pugsley's with me! Listen, here's the bottom line. Am I entertaining? Of course. Do you love me? Of course. Do I make you laugh? Of course. But get everything you can from me on my Instagram, at Stu Finer, at Stu Finer. You win free money, free laughs, you feel better about yourself, more confidence, at Stu Finer. Instagram, at Stu Finer. Get to my Instagram now, at Stu Finer. Brugley, Brugley, I love you. I love you. Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. We've given you three games so far. We have two more to get to. Guys, let's do it. It is the Browns and the Patriots. The Browns are a dumpster fire. OBJ is a dumpster fire. The Patriots are undefeated and unstoppable. Dave, is there any way the Patriots don't cover this number, 13? I mean, it's a huge number. 13 is a huge number, so I guess I could see it happening. I'm obviously taking the Patriots. I gave you the Patriots last week. I give you the Patriots all the time. We are now into the portion of the season with the New England Patriots. Are they going 19-0? That literally is the question. As far as the Browns, I hate them. Odell Beckham Jr. in his little dance. He's wearing his Calvin Klein's. He's doing win football games. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Just shut up. You mm -hmm. have two absolutely different type of franchises here. And I used to like the Browns. Freddie Kitchens should come coach our offensive line Ooh, or something. Freddie Kitchens. See. But the, the Browns, I mean, they're all show. No sizzle. They're all sizzle. No steak. The Patriots are the opposite. Patriots best team in the league. Patriots win this game probably by 100. I think Tom Brady is mad now about that whole massage thing. Whoever set him up on that Netflix, I want you dead. Yeah. Patriots by a million. So what? Tom Brady and Bob Kraft like to get their dicky wicky licked. Well, again, you're connecting dots that I don't appreciate. You don't think Tom Brady likes to get his dicky wicky licked? I'm not well, saying by a, who. He's a happily married man. And yes, as far so? as I know, Bob Kraft just went in for a massage to well, keep I, those bones hold loose. Hold on. Hey don't, play, hey, don't blame and shame media me. I didn't say by who. I just like to say, I said that he likes to get his dicky wicky licked. Has his trainer ever touched his penis? Stuart. <laughs> Stuart Smalley. I'm just asking. Stuart kind of Little. Okay. No! <laughs> and then he's. No! And okay. Hannah, what's the weather going to be like in Foxborough on Sunday? 56 and rainy. Ooh, Sadly. okay. A little rain, little Looks rain. Looks like Sunday's going to be a good day to eat a lot of Chinese food. Yeah, well, Chinese, a lot of rain. Go, why don't you go pizza? Football mm. Sunday pizza. Yeah, he eats pizza for a I living. Eat pizza Tommy. every day, so Sunday's a little. Oh, change. yeah, wait, that was such. First of all, just for the record, Dan. My mother's dead. What? <laughs> my grandmother's dead. My grandma Lena died in Dachau. My grandma what? Nana died in Danamora. So if you want to take shots at me, you have a lot of like Germany stuff too. But here we go! You want to talk dead? The Patriots 19-0, dead! 6-0, dead! Browns win outright! <laughs> Never lay double digits in the NFL! Word association, Stu. Laying that many points is... Not good! News <laughs> off! <laughs> okay. There's no in G! There's no A's! Why, why, why? Why are you burying me, Davey? Why are you burying me, Dan? Oh. That's the love. I don't feel it. Tommy, quick stat. The Patriots are a team you can lay a big number with. Since 2015, the Pats are 11-3 and three against the spread as double-digit home favorites. Ooh, I have a stat for you too, Tommy. Let's hear you Ready it. for this? Uh, the Patriots, under Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, are 35-3. and three. Uh, at home against first or second year quarterbacks. They crush them. The last I mean, one to win, Colin Kaepernick, 2012. Sam Darnold, I see ghosts. Yeah, also, Sam Darnold sees ghosts. Uh, Kid Cuddy Kanye? Mm-hmm. Kid see ghosts. Pretty, pretty trendy. Here's a little thing for you. I got something special. Now, we say I'm on excited. this show, we say on this show that when you tease, the only thing you tease is yourself. But... I looked into it, and when I say I looked into it, someone tweeted it to me, and I haven't looked into it at all, but they said if you tease the Patriots and the under every single week this year, you'd be 7-0. You'd be 7-0. So here it is. My first ever teaser on this show. Patriots are going to be minus 6 on the tease. The over-under is going to be 50... Well so wait, no, the Patriots can be minus seven on the T's. The over-under will be 51 and a half. You know what I've How done? does that lose? You know what I've done every single time I've placed the T's? You're a I, Yeah, I'm I sure. always land on the number. Yeah. 
100 yes. percent yes yes so it's that's gonna work that's gonna work that's gonna work last game sunday night game packers at chiefs matt moore is playing i look like matt moore chiefs plus four over under 47 you look half. like uh eddie mercury dan Eddie Mercury, that is his name, Eddie Mercury. Okay, so uh, let's start with the weather here in Kansas City on Sunday night. Kansas City, it's going to be a 40, clear. I'm excited for this game. Mm. I kind of waited. I wanted to see what you guys were going to say so I could talk back to you guys. but No, that's why I went first. Because that's you knew I that I would yeah. talk, but I'm still going to do it anyway. And okay. Packers are 6-1 and one right now. It's going to be a <sighs> perfect night. And, of course, I have to comment on it because I love them. And they're going to keep it rolling, no matter what anyone says. Hmm. Story time. I'm done now, though. You okay. can go ahead. Uh, Packers. Aaron Rodgers has figured it out. Matt LaFleur, they like each other now. I don't know, man. It's making me nervous. It's making me nervous. It's making me nervous. I think the Packers are going to roll. I'll say it first. The Packers are going to roll. Yes. Minus four is easy. Easy, Dave. Easy. Love the Chiefs here. Arrowhead, tough place to play. Loud place to play. I think the Packers are one of the more overrated 5-1 and one teams in the league. Oh, it's I like the Chiefs at home. I think this is a pretty straightforward pick. I'm glad to hear that you like the Packers. Damn it. Um, I like the Chiefs. Damn it. Stu, where can they go to find your pick? Yeah. Submit your information into stufinder.com, and you're going to get a lock. You're going to get a burial. You're going to get love. This will be my fifth straight game I'm giving you, and this is the best bet. This is not like a, a throw dart game. Get over to stufinder.com. Let's go. Ready to roll. Okay. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Tommy, give me a stat to make me feel good about the Packers. Uh, I don't know oh, that. God Since the start it. of last season, Aaron Rodgers is just 1-6-1 one, and one against the spread in primetime games. But it's afraid Matt of the, Moore! Afraid of the bright lights. It's Matt, Matt Moore. Moore getting first team snaps. Chiefs, a lot of talent on offense. Their defense looked so fast the other night. I'm telling you, Dan. Telling you. Switch my pick. Sm oh, now. You're going to regret that. No, switch no. my pick. You're right, because this is exactly what I do. I will literally sit there all Sunday and be like, it's Matt Moore. It's Matt Moore. It's Matt Moore. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't say my hands are clammy. I know they are. They always are. You have, clam you have clammy hand we're under. Well, we're under the bright lights here, and I get excited, and I take a lot of Adderall. Do you think, that, <laughs> do you think Barstool Sports would be worth more than it is today? If you didn't have clammy hands, because I know you've been in meetings before where you've shit, you put out that hand and the guy says, can't do business with him. I mean, I'd like to say that's not true, but a clammy, weak fish handshake it's, definitely sets the tone. It, it sets the tone, and it's not a good tone. It's taking, it's basically taking a 10-yard sack on the first play. It's Michigan calling a timeout before they ran their first play. Fuck Michigan. <laughs> oh, fuck them. Hey, fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Fuck them. But listen, can I say something? My interpretation says, Dave Portnoy, living legend, owns a company that's worth yep. 150 mil. When he shakes someone's hand, their hand is their hand is clammy because they're like nervous. You know, they're nervous. So nervous. They can never tell. Two clammy He's, hands. Right, like it locks Ultron. in, so they go, "What a grip!" Okay, oh, schlong on the floor. Oh, Dave, this is Dave Schlong. Listen, put it on the table, Dave Schlong. 150 million. 150 million. 150 million. Thank you. You done? Stu. You're welcome, Dave. You done with the schlong? I'm done. I'm gonna okay. my hand. Yeah, I know. Uh, we will be right back with our mortal locks and Larry's pick. I'm seven and four on mortal locks. You're going to want to tune in. Four and five. Four and five. Four and two. I'm four and five. He's looking at his mortal locks right now. I'm trying to figure out if he's going to the Rams last week. Maybe talk about how good mortal locks are, but they're not good. So he can't do it. So I'm seven and four in my mortal locks. Tune in. 36 and 22. Ah, there it is. I need your help. I desperately need your help. You saw, I have cursed myself. I ripped a piece of paper with Pugsley on it. Yeah, you're probably thinking to yourself, Stu's dog died 10 years ago, get over it. That's why we're buying these shirts right here. If you buy it, you help me get out of my hole, get out of my funk, get out of my curse that I put on myself. RIP Pugsley, two boobs for Pugsley. Think about Pugsley, every day you, you wake up, you should be happy to be alive because Pugsley's dead and now you gotta buy a shirt. Buy a shirt, please buy a shirt. Please buy a shirt, Stu, please buy a shirt. He's crying again. You guys, buy a shirt. On fire, no, 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 no. On unbelievable fire, we're talking third straight Sunday night in a row, I hit the parlay. Three straight parlays. Do you know how strong that is? Bailed everybody out. Three straight monster winning Sundays. I am on fire. Listen, right now, 
This is gonna be my fifth winner in a row. I'm game, I'm betting for my balls. Submit your information into stewfinder.com. Get over to stewfinder.com, scroll down, put a valid email and a valid phone number in, and you're gonna get my winner free, 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 free. Stewfinder.com, stewfinder.com, stewfinder.com. Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. It's that time of the week, our mortal locks. You can parlay them at FanDuel. You can win all your money with the mortal lock parlay. Go check it out right now at FanDuel, our great sponsor. We're going to start with Larry, who was good on this show, but he's 1-4 last week on Sunday, so we got him a new crib. Let's check out Larry's crib. Ooh, oh, that nice. Woo, spectacular. Yeah. Spectacular. Yeah. That's He's swimming whoa. like a little old Sexy. big baller. Yeah, that's got to be pricey in New York City. That's big dollars. Woo. Ooh. Ah. Sports Advisors brought to you by FanDuel and today, October 27th, is the Sports Equinox. All four major sports will be in action all on the same day and FanDuel is celebrating with the first ever Sports Equinox free play contest. Pick the winners of each of today's 26 games and if you get 20 or more picks right, you'll split a share of more than $270,000. Dave and I added cash to the prize pool to make it even that much better and this contest is 100% free to play and no deposit required. Head to fanduel.com slash stool to learn more and make your picks today. We also have our Mortal Locks of the Week promo. Every week, Fanduel will offer our Mortal Locks of the Week as a parlay on the Fanduel Sportsbook. You can bet with us or you can fade. I'm seven and four, so don't fade me. Our parlayed picks for the Lock of the Week every single weekend. Age and residency restrictions apply. No purchase or wager necessary. Void where prohibited. Payout paid in non-withdrawable site credit. Site credit expires after seven days. Terms apply. Okay, motor lock time. I am seven and four. You're gonna to wanna to listen to my motor lock. I'll go last though. Stu, I'm gonna start with you. Give us your motor lock, then we'll go to Dave. Okay, ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. Uh, four and two motor locks this year, nine and six last year. Last week, Rams as a blowout. This week, Indianapolis Colts as a human lock burial blowout, laying a little less than a touchdown. They're going to punish the Denver Broncos. This Colts team is loaded. They have one of the top eight rosters in the NFL. This is a route. This is a burial. This is a blowout. Now, we spoke about the Kit Kat bar earlier. I normally like paper because what I do is I create a crepe in my mouth. It's a little too sugary. So what I do is I take a piece and then I chew it and I spit it into the paper and I take the paper and I eat it. It's a crepe. Not only is it a crepe and it tastes great and it cuts the sugar, but it goes through my body and when I take a poop, no toilet paper. Because it's already paper's there. This is how you do it. Oh, Longer. Stew. Longer. Animal. Longer. Give me a freak. Give me a freak. Break me off a piece of my cake. That bar. Colts. 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 Wow, okay, ah! that was electric. Ah! Well, who do we have here, Dave? I don't know what Stu's doing. I don't know what he's doing. We have one, it's like twice a year we have a Stu show. Today was a Stu show. Just making no sense all over the map, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, I'm in a tough situation here. First of all, clearly, oh I, Cincinnati at the Rams. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize the game was in London until about two seconds ago. I just 
love betting against the Bengals. I love betting against the Bengals. I said on my guy Spider, get me a Ram thing. He's got me one of the scariest looking faces. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with a Ram. This looks like a demon type warrior. You look like you're going to one of those fuck parties on yeah. Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut. Fidelio. Yeah. Uh, Fidelio. The password's uh, Tom Fidelio. Cruise. You yes. come in here. Nicole and, Kidman. And you fuck and you kidnap and you do all. This is not what I was thinking when I said get me a Rams. This looks terrible. Then <laughs> he did something else. He got me a Todd Gurley shirt. Yeah. And you didn't know that the game was in London. And Todd Gurley is dead to me ever since he, he he didn't go in the end zone. He's in my Ben and Jerry's gambling graveyard, which only has two people in it, that and a Toledo coach. Mm. Uh, so I'm taking the Bengals. Oh! Take the take the stupid thing off. I'm taking take the Bengals that stupid thing because off. I'm wearing a girly. This is demons. How you end up with a mortal lock in the Bengals? You're cursed. You, you absolutely should not because they're the worst team. Gargoyle the Opera. That's, that's Rams. That's Rams. Oh, that's the Ram. That's the golden calf. That's the worst Ram I've ever seen. From the Ten Commandments. This is yeah. the worst setup I've ever had. When Charlton Heston came down and it's in London. Was building the golden calf. I hate like. the Bengals. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. All right, listen, Bengals. Listen. Where's the game? All right. London. My Wembley pick. Stadium. Nice. My pick. I watched. My pick. Oh, I watched. Speaking of Wembley Stadium, I watched yesterday the documentary on uh, Maradona. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Awesome. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. I would love some to paper. have done some cocaina with that guy. Oh. I don't do that. Yeah, 10 times. I can't get it. Come here. Okay, <laughs> last pick. I'm going to give it to you. Listen, guys, you know the Bears are in trouble. I take the under. The Bears are in trouble. On the 10 do a cocaine. <laughs> the Bears are in trouble, but they have the solution. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but my guy, Matt Nagy, Egg toss. Stu, I'm Excuse about me. to throw you an egg. You better Excuse fucking me. catch I, it. I, I Stu, it my I'm going to ca catch that Woo! egg. Oh. Yeah! No, 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 no. Whoa. Dave, catch the Woo! egg. Woo! Dave, catch Woo! the egg. Woo! Hannah, catch the egg. Woo! 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 Tommy, Woo! catch the egg. Woo! Oh, no! no. no! 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 I'm to do it. What the Bears. Doing? Minus four. I got the Chargers. It's a get right game, Run! folks. It's Run! a get right game. The Bears are going to win. Tommy, another one. All right. That's minus four. Take it to the bank. Seven and four. Tommy, I got one more for you. Oh, oh my God. Let's see everyone. Yes, Take the Bears. Take it. Let's go. That's going to be the worst job. Spider. Spider. It's, it's, it's Spider's curse for this. He's got to clean it. <laughs>